Ja, moin Leute, willkommen zurück auf meinem Kanal zu einem weiteren Apex Legends News Update. Es wird bald eine Neuerung ins Spiel finden, die richtig geil sein wird. Wünschen sich viele von euch, auch ich wünsche es mir schon lange, lange, lange. Kommt noch in Season 3, aber wohl nicht mit dem Halloween Event. Und zwar wird der Trainingsmodus, bzw. wurde der Trainingsmodus komplett überarbeitet. Wird dann Firing Range heißen, also Schießanlage. Sieht optisch genauso aus. Besonderheit, ihr könnt mit eurem gesamten Squad in die Schießanlage reingehen und was richtig cool ist, ihr könnt alle Legenden mitten in, im Trainingsmodus durchseppen, ohne vielleicht nochmal rausgehen zu müssen. Und für alle, die sich noch nie so wirklich getraut haben, mit dem Pathfinder auseinanderzusetzen, weil das mit dem Grappling Hook, also das Movement, das zu üben, dauert sehr, sehr lange. Es ist mein Main, ich habe auch sehr lange dafür gebraucht. Und wer schon immer ein bisschen Panik hatte, seine Stats zu versauen, hat ihn deswegen vielleicht nicht genommen. Ihr könnt mit dem Pathfinder euch mit dem Grappling Hook da im Trainingsmodus vertraut machen und so weiter. Das finde ich eine coole Änderung. Die geilsten Änderungen für den Trainingsmodus erzähle ich euch aber jetzt. Ihr könnt natürlich wie immer alle Waffen wählen und neben den Waffen, liegen jetzt alle Hop-Ups, alle Aufsätze, sogar die Schilde könnt ihr anlegen und zusätzlich auch eine coole Änderung, es werden Dummies, die wie ein Gegner aussehen, bloß komplett in Orange, stehen dann mitten in der Firing Range, ihr könnt dann mit allen möglichen Visieren und Kombinationen der Waffen könnt ihr auf die Dummies rumschießen, die Dummies haben auch Schilde, damit ihr so ein bisschen den Schadensoutput und die Auswirkungen verschiedener Hop-Ups, wie zum Beispiel G7 in Verbindung mit dem Double Tap und so weiter, könnt ihr dann testen oder mit einem 8 scope einfach mal die Headshots üben und so weiter. Man kann sich mega austoben auf dieser Schießanlage. Ich zeige euch jetzt aus dem Livestream, der jetzt gestern, glaube ich, von äh, Respawn gezeigt wurde. Da zeigen die sämtlichen Trainingsmodus. Da geht ein paar Minuten, schneide ich jetzt hier mit rein. Geiles Material. Danach zeige ich euch aus dem Stream noch ein bisschen was vom Halloween-Event. Da werden noch ein paar Eindrücke von der Map und ein paar Legenden gezeigt, aber nicht viel. Und in den nächsten Stunden oder Tagen, kurz vor dem Start des Halloween-Events, soll noch mal ein kleiner Trailer kommen. Wenn der Trailer rauskommt, seht ihr den natürlich auch auf meinem Kanal. Ich wünsche euch jetzt viel Spaß mit dem Material, das ich euch aus dem Livestream zeige. Lasst einen fetten Daumen nach oben da. Viele Kommentare, was ihr von den Änderungen haltet, die hoffentlich bald kommen. Wie gesagt, es wurde nicht gesagt, wann es kommt, nur nicht zum Halloween-Event und vor allem lasst ein Abo da, wenn ihr neu seid und keine Infovideos verpassen wollt. Das war's jetzt von mir. Viel Spaß. Ciao. Okay. All right. So we got some training ground going. Where's Bloodhound? Wait a minute. What's different here? You could... We're switching characters? <laughs> Wait a minute. Always gotta show that. Oh, of course. Showing off. <laughs> Swinging into the banner. Face plants into his own card. So, by popular request, uh, we are going to be updating a training ground, which I believe is, will be called Firing Range, yep. uh, that you will be able to go into. And as you can see, we have laid out all the sweet, sweet loot. We have dummies there with shields and stuff you can shoot. You can use your abilities. You will be able to switch your character. Um, Chad, anything else sort of like you guys, what are you, you guys are um, planning to do for this? Well, I think it creates a new place for us to experiment and, and add on. There's obviously been a pretty big demand for it. Uh, currently, people go into training, go through the first phase of training to get to the firing range, and that didn't that didn't seem uh, like <laughs> something we would want our, our fans to have to do. So, um, I think this should help. You know, you can do your character abilities, you can do your ultimate, your tactical kind of play around with different characters. You're not trying to learn a new character when you're in a, a fight. Um, and you can also bring your squad mates in here with you. So you can mess around. Maybe there's two of you, you're waiting for your buddy to sign on and fill out the trios. So I think it's a good space uh, for people to use for various reasons. Aim, practice, character, learning. Yeah, one of the things I'm excited to use this for are things like when meta changes or new loot enters into it. So, like for example, the two new hop ups we did for season three, yeah. uh, being able to uh, play test those in kind of a safe environment um, and just shoot them around. And you know, when we're making meta changes to weapons to get a sense of what those feel like, um, you know, I think this is like a great starting point too of just like t sort of to your point like there's a lot of potential things uh, that can do this and grow over time and i'm sure players will continue to give us really good feedback for that you know so for all of you out there this is coming in season three uh we are going to have a really fun 
training ground here for you guys where, like I said, you can equip all the stuff, shoot the weapons, um, eventually get in with your, your squad uh, and use your abilities. It's been fun to kind of switch from one guy to the other. Um, Raimi, who was, I was talking to before this, mm -hmm. who's done a lot of work on this, he was, you know, it's kind of fun to drop like Octane's like jump pad and then switch over to Gibraltar and leap off that. That's like just, um, yeah, it's great. I hope it's uh, something that really helps for new players as well. Yeah, looking forward to the feedback. Uh, because it's very similar to training, we did get some feedback on places like Reddit and, and whatnot, and that's why the dummies were put in there. Mm. Um, so yeah, feedback's good. It's a, definitely a place we can we can improve, but it's a good it's a good addition to season three. That's awesome, Drew. What a great job driving there. He's been having a lot of fun with this today as we were setting up, getting ready to shoot and everything. We're so. Uh, here we're looking at Count Crypto, as I like to call him. Um, his skins have just been on point. This is probably my favorite <laughs> one, and perfect timing because Gibraltar, uh, I think, plays really well in Season 3. Maybe the scariest skin we've ever done uh, with the uh, Clown Caustic. Um, so these are all part of um, the 24 premium items that we have within the uh, that are event exclusive. And so you have three ways to get these. Uh, you'll be able to either purchase them directly uh, in the store with Apex Coins um, through the premium packs, uh, as well as um, with crafting materials. Uh, we also introduced the Lifeline Heirloom uh, with this item, which is, I'm so excited about that because Lifeline's like one of my mains. Um, and I think like the defibrillator sticks was such a fun idea and a good play off for drumsticks um, that people know. And so uh, one thing that we changed about this uh, that we have with Iron Crown, uh, after purchasing all the um, event uh, Apex packs, uh, you have the option to get the heirloom item for free Yeah. Uh, for all those, which is, which is awesome. Additional changes from Iron Crown also. Are so, uh, why don't you guys talk a little bit? So, what we're this is going to take place on a nighttime spooky version of Kings Canyon. Uh, that our team just did an incredible job with. I love the new skybox. Uh, it looks amazing. So, we're just going to look at a few fly-through shots here. Uh, why don't you guys talk a little bit about the mode itself? Sure. Um, it's uh, yeah, Shadow Shadowfall. Shadowfall. And it's actually done by uh, the same guy who did, uh, for all the Titanfall fans, um, the time, time shift level. That's right. Shout and, out to Jake uh, Keating. It's kind of his baby, so he's put a lot of work and effort into it. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. You dive in in solo mode, the beginning of the mode, and then kind of fight it out for a while. And when you die, you come back as a shadow legend. and. Uh, dive yeah. in, and you're like super fast. You've got your melee. You can yeah, climb your, walls. Got your, your powerful melee attack. Yeah. It's been really fun. It's, it's one of those play tests that always feels really lively when we're downstairs and you're seeing people uh, that are checking it out. Um, there's so much more to show on this mode, um, but you guys are going to have to wait till next week um, to see the really, really good stuff. Uh, we got a really great trailer for this that's really going to uh, show it off in action, but. Um, the mode will be available for the three weeks, and uh, last but not least coming with this event, of course, is uh, the Top 5 Wins Double XP uh, weekend that will be running from uh, October 25th through the 28th, and it's going to be a blast. Um, and even then.